Sexual abuse is something that exists around all of us. One in three girls are sexually abused by the time that they turn 18. One in five boys are sexually abused by the time they reach that age. Now, 95% of sexual abuse is preventable. This morning, I'm going to share a video of what Lauren is doing in schools across the state. It is her goal to have every school, not just here in Florida, but across the country, educating about prevention. This way, future cases like Lauren's won't exist. Keeping a secret about something that hurt you on the outside or made you feel sad, confused, or scared on the inside is not a good idea. The best thing to do if you had a bad secret is to always tell a grown up buddy. The other thing that we do for awareness, when I started the foundation at the beginning, I knew from my educator background that we needed to do more around this topic. We needed to do more education around prevention. Um, it didn't exist. There was no consistent prevention education in the state at all. So we went about writing that curriculum, um, adapting it. Uh, last year, having an appropriation from the legislature to get that curriculum into every single kindergarten classroom. This is what every kindergarten class has. Um, and it has everything that they need to, to, to present the curriculum. And um, I'll go through a little bit with you. Um, this is the teacher's guide. And in with the teacher's guide, they have the DVD for the lessons. And it's six lessons. They pop the DVD in. It's me teaching in a classroom. and. They follow Buddy around Buddy's land, and then the teachers, once that's over, has a step-by-step -step outline for what they do in the classroom. We do have a reporting section for teachers if they suspect abuse, where they go, what they do. Because of the law that we passed last year, Florida is now the only truly mandatory reporting state in the country. And then they have all the handouts in here that they'll need. Every lesson has a parent newsletter. It's also in English, Spanish, and Creole, um, and the different homework is in there as well. As we grow and continue to, to create a first through fifth, a middle, a high school, college, and create a, a place where we have the knowledge to prevent this stuff from happening, because it's not rocket science. It's all stuff that makes sense, and, and we have to reparent parents, and we have to teach kids a different way. I think that Lauren's Kids has really created a movement here in Florida. And I think it's really gotten people to start talking about this issue. Putting a face with something that's so scary makes it easier to talk about, to look at. In the beginning, before we started, nobody talked about childhood sexual abuse. Nobody looked at it. It was something like, if we don't look at it, it doesn't exist. And I think once we started with our walks and, and with our ca educational campaigns, I think people couldn't look away. And it normalized the topic of sexual abuse so that people could share about the things that, that they went through. Having had the tools would not have stopped the nanny from that first abusive move. But I am certain that had my daughter known what we teach today, what we message out there to children and parents today, I am certain that the abuse would not have gone on for six years because my daughter was bright and articulate and somebody needed to tell her it was okay to tell. We just want the message to be everlasting. We want people to know it's okay to tell. We know that unfortunately childhood sexual abuse is gonna continue. But we don't want children, and we don't want adults uh, to suffer in silence. You will never know how many people we save. We'll not ever know how many people we impact. But the, the thought of putting back and giving back is not about knowing how many people you help. It's knowing you help lots of people. I see us creating a model here in the state of Florida where we're creating a safer and smarter Florida. And then I see that going into a safer, smarter New York, a safer, smarter California, a safer and smarter Michigan, and then have a safer and smarter country that will then influence the world. We need to create a world where the sexual exploitation of children is not tolerated. And so that's sort of my life goal of what I hope to do, hope to be, and it's not gonna be easy, but I, I, I know that if we work really hard 
and we continue to do the things that we're doing, I know that it's catching on. And I you know, just have to keep on going.